My name's Corey David, and welcome to the Mile High Update. It is so hard to eat healthy right now. I've eaten more mac and cheese and cup of noodles in the past two weeks than I have since I was five years old. I've already gone through all of my food rations that are supposed to last me for months. It's like I'm back in college, and I've gone through my entire semester's meal plan in the first two weeks of school. But when you think about it, this is basically just like college, and all the weight that you're putting on, instead of being called the freshman 15, is the COVID-19. We're doing nothing but day drinking, eating nothing but junk food, and we're all wondering what we're going to do with our lives after all of this is over. Trump's stimulus checks could take up to 20 weeks to arrive, which unfortunately for some people, they'll have already been evicted from the house on their mailing address. That's kind of a bummer. Some people aren't even going to be getting a check, including immigrants without social security numbers, college students, and some disabled adults. Unfortunately for her, Melania Trump is two out of the three people on that list. The last time I checked, she wasn't pledging for Sigma Tau Delta. But to be honest, being married to the president seems like it would be way worse than hazing. I would so much rather do an elephant walk than be the first lady right now. If you're not sure what an elephant walk is, just Google it. And just keep in mind that it is not a line of Republicans at the voting booth. Police are issuing citations for people that are violating the stay in place order that could total up to $1,000. To make things even more complicated, fake police officers are setting up roadblocks and pulling people over to give them fake citations. It's kind of like when DMX pretended to be an FBI agent and stole somebody's car. Who's giving you a citation? X going to give it to you. While most states have issued a stay in place order, some are still holding out, and places like Alabama didn't even issue one until this past Friday, which is pretty surprising since Alabama loves to tell people, particularly women, exactly what to do with their bodies. Maybe come football season this year, they'll be yelling, roll typhoid fever. My uncle that lives in Alabama has told me before, you can't catch stupid, which he doesn't say a whole lot anymore, particularly because he's stuck on a ventilator. The toilet paper crisis in this country is real, and ironically enough, my little brother does work at a toilet paper factory. Uh, he still talks about toilet paper the same way people talk about weed. Uh, he's got his premium grade three ply, a nice quilted, or maybe a sativa quilted hybrid. Some of the names are the same, like Angel Soft, Ultra Kush, or Green Mountain. Can't really tell if that's the name of toilet paper or weed, but I'll let you figure that part out. They even make brown toilet paper, which works just like weed because it makes you paranoid that you didn't get it all. Companies like Costco are getting so desperate that they're asking his company for all their defective rolls or essentially their swag or dirt weed. It works exactly the same. You just have to pull out all the sticks and seeds before you wipe your ass with it. The White House has encouraged everyone to start wearing a mask, even though Donald Trump himself has insisted that he still won't wear one, which is pretty on brand for him, considering he didn't even wear one to the last Jeffrey Epstein masquerade ball. The CDC even posted a video online of how to make a mask in less than 45 seconds, which is still more time than it takes a police officer to shoot a person of color for wearing one in a grocery store. The N95 is the most efficient mask, but has the least amount of sex appeal. Unless, of course, your childhood crush was Scorpion or Sub-Zero from Mortal Kombat, the video game. Other masks have their benefits, but they aren't as efficient. Like a cloth mask is easy to make, a bandana looks a lot cooler, and a green tea mask from Sephora will take 10 years off your skin, honey. A Halloween mask might be the coolest out of all of them, but just remember, everybody in the movie dies at the end. And this type of mask just means that you're a Cleveland Browns fan. Meanwhile, in New York, citizens are in an uproar that a tiger has tested positive for coronavirus, while many humans are being denied access to the test. The tiger in the Bronx Zoo named Nadia tested positive for the virus after a long, drawn-out Zoom call with 30 of their relatives insisting that they get tested. This does shine a light on the fact that animals at the Bronx Zoo still get better health insurance than 90% of Americans. Listen, Fox News, don't get your undies in a bundle, okay? The testing for animals isn't even the same as it is for humans. Getting pissed off about that would be like getting upset that you took your kid to PetSmart and they won't groom his hair. These two things just definitely don't make sense. Have you actually looked into the process of getting tested? It's not comfortable. It's very unpleasant. They shove a Q-tip so far up your nose that it goes into your sinus cavity. Very similar to what the ancient Egyptians used to do for mummification which is also the name of a Red Hot Chili Peppers cover band where all the members are British MILFs. 
It kind of reminds me of the time that I got tested for STDs in college and the doctor insisted the only way to do it was to shove a Q-tip right up my pee hole. Uh, it was very awkward, very unpleasant, but not as unpleasant as finding out in the next couple days that they could have gotten the same results from drawing a blood sample, which means that doctor just wanted to teach me a lesson or that I'd been to a hospital that hadn't been updated since the Civil War, which also explains why when I told them I had a fever, they covered my entire body in leeches. That's going to do it for this week's edition of the Mile High Update. Tune in every Sunday at 6 p.m., and we look forward to seeing you next week. My name's Corey David. Thank you. Good night.